Hey everyone, I am Laura and today I'm going to take you through hopefully organising this, let's just call it a situation that I have going on at the moment. So this is my temporary wardrobe and if you were new here and you haven't been following along then I'm going to pop my renovation playlist below so that you can understand a little bit more about why I have this beautiful green semi-dirty wallpaper up on the walls and why my clothes are in such a state and a bit of a mess at the moment because it is certainly not like me. My old wardrobe, which I'll try and put a picture up of here, was colour coordinated and organised and I dearly miss it. So I thought I would take you guys along today to show you how I'm going to get it a little bit more organised. I'm going to start by switching over and taking out any pieces which are autumn, winter. It may not seem like summer here in the UK, it's definitely currently raining outside, but Here's hoping that if I do my wardrobe, it'll change the weather. I'll be doing a little bit of Marie Kondo type organization, taking you through my top tips on how to plan and organize your wardrobe for the summer months. I'm hoping by the end of it that I'm just gonna have one condensed down rail that I can go to and pick outfits out of when life is busy. Let's get into it and don't judge me until you have seen those renovation videos and what we are having to deal with at the moment. As you can see, I have a lot of my clothes on rails and these aren't too badly categorized. They are in some kind of organization and then I have one rail to the right here, which is a little bit of a mix of everything. It gets worse on the floor. I have a pile of hangers from clothes which I have taken to where I am currently living at the moment. And then just some clothes, a bag full of shoes and other bags, I think. And then I also have over here, a suitcase with a lot of other clothes in. Because this house is being renovated, I don't have a bed to put all of my clothes on. So I do sometimes like taking all of my clothes off of the rails, but I'm not gonna do that today. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it all. I don't have space to put things. So first things first, I'm gonna get a big box and I'm gonna take out all of my autumn, winter, any jumpers, jackets, coats, items, which are just for the winter and put them straight into a box. My first tip I definitely learned from my mum and that is to go for storage boxes that are consistent. Go for the same brand. So we love these really useful boxes and that is because they stack on top of each other which means if you want to reuse them anywhere, it makes it super easy. We are going to have all of these in our attic to organize things. We can stack them up. We can also label them. They're clear so that I can see everything in them. And you can get them in so many shapes and sizes, but I would also be consistent on the shapes and sizes so that they are obviously stackable. I am a very structured tidier or organizer. Whenever I'm organizing or tidying a room, I like to start in one spot and work my way around. I think it's so that I don't get overwhelmed. If you've ever walked into a room and you think, ah, how am I ever gonna tidy this or where am I gonna start? Start in one corner and just go from that corner and tidy it from there. And it's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna start on this rail and I'm gonna work my way all the way around the rails until I get to the floor. winter I think that I have enough space to condense everything down so my main aim is to be able to have this rail free this is the rail that I usually film on but haven't been at the moment because it's been too much of a mess and then I want to try and get rid of these two smaller silver rails and have two of these white ones because they're much better much sturdier for my summer wardrobe comment below if you think that this is going to be possible because I am looking at the clothes on here and I think that I am going to have to still get rid of some more in these storage boxes. I'm going to take away the umbrellas and the shoe compartment because I have enough space to store my shoes somewhere else but the issue that I'm having is hanging space so I'm going to get rid of this to get some more. This is the stage where I'm going to organize what I have on the rails, put them into categories. I don't want to start sorting stuff on the floor and putting them onto hangers until I know where I'm putting them on the rails. So I'm going to put them into category of the item and also start color coordinating them. 
I might be able to find a few more things in here that I also want to store away. So let's get into this. Faces merge and change, but your face remains the same. Quite quickly on this rail, I've been able to put it into coats and jackets, some shirts, jumpers and cardigans, and then my jeans and trousers. And they're much more organized now, so I should be able to shift some of these pieces over here and kind of work through them all. The dress was a little bit miscellaneous, so I'm gonna leave that to the side. We'll always remember how it those two rails over there and I've colour coordinated and put all of my clothes over here for now. So I've got jackets here and then shirts, jumpers, skirts, trousers, tops, dresses and jumpsuits. I don't know if it looks like I boxed away a lot of pieces but I do have quite a few hangers down here and here and lots of boxes full. So have condensed it down a lot. The next stage I am gonna go on to is to put that one onto a better white rail. It will probably give me a little bit more space and then I can get on to emptying out the suitcase. This is already making me so much happier. I actually move the rails around because I like that I start with my tops now and then go into my dresses, jumpsuits, jackets, and then all of the bottom halves. This is the bit I've been dreading the most. The suitcase. I think it's because there are a lot of random things in here. I think there's pajamas, scarves. So anything that I'm putting on the rails is gonna get put straight onto a hanger. Anything that's going into the boxes is going to get folded and any bits like pyjamas and scarves will also get folded to go in the drawers. messier a lot quicker than I thought it would unfortunately I've run out of storage boxes so this is all kind of Christmas winter stuff that I want to put away into boxes but I need to go out and grab some more however first I'm gonna see if I can get all of these clothes onto the rail and organized and if you're wondering how I'm deciding what to store away especially if you live in the UK and you're looking out the window like I am and thinking still pretty cold out there what are you keeping I'm still keeping quite a few spring pieces and in those selections, so in the jacket and jumper selection, I'm keeping one of each category. So I've got a cashmere, I've got one cashmere cardigan and one cashmere jumper. And then I have got a selection of just a few blazers, a leather jacket or my suede jacket, one denim jacket, one khaki jacket. So I'm just keeping ones of each and I know that I'll have absolutely plenty for the season. And I managed to get all of that onto those two rails. They may be looking a little bit snug, but I'm gonna look at that next. Actually, what I'm gonna do now is run out and get some more plastic boxes. And then unfortunately, by the time I get back, I'm gonna be heading to London. So I'm gonna pick you guys up in a few more days and we can sort the rest of this. I'm back and today's mission is to sort out this temporary shoe storage thing that we have going on and also try and find a little layout for this room. So I'm thinking that these two rails can actually go either side of the kind of 
fireplace here. I also need to sort out my hangers. Unfortunately, the boxes I had a bit of an issue with, they actually arrived broken, so they're now not coming in until a bit later, and I just need to kind of plan this room slightly. So the room that I'm in is the master bedroom, but it's actually not gonna be the room that we sleep in and use as the master bedroom for maybe a year, a year and a half at least, because we have big plans for this room, knocking down walls, uh, perhaps en suite, walk-in wardrobe, that kind of thing, but I'll explain all of that in another video. But for the next kind of year and a half, temporarily, this is gonna be um, my filming room, come study, come little relaxation room. But you've seen it right now, so the plan is that we're gonna take down the wallpaper. We absolutely love just the exposed plaster that I took down, took down the wallpaper a little while ago, and we love that, so we're thinking that we might just keep that in here clean up all the floors, maybe give them a really cheap kind of stain, and then move rugs in, move furniture in. I was thinking of perhaps doing the Ikea Pax wardrobes down the back here, but with the outdoors to keep costs down. But if you have any other ideas of how I can lay out this room, I know that quite a few of you guys like thinking about layouts, um, and it would be great to get your advice because I'm not 100% sure. If you'd also like a video on what we do do to it temporarily, as the kind of filming, I don't know, room, a bit of everything room, then let us know. We've got all of our kind of kitchen stuff in here right now. It's a bit of a mess. Maybe I'll show you a bit of that at the end of this video when I've sorted the wardrobe. So I think what I'm gonna do now is move all of these pieces into a room which we're just using for storage because I don't need them. Oh, that's actually our coffee table, so maybe I can take that downstairs, but all of the other bits are gonna go in the storage room. looking better it feels so much freer I feel like I have a lot more space in here to be able to organize and do things oh <laughs> really random but probably about a year ago now quite a long time more like six months I did a wardrobe clear out and I said that I was getting rid of this skirt and one of you lovely followers said that you would like it and I didn't get around to sending it because we ended up moving and life got busy but I kept it for you so if you still watch I'd uh, love to send it to you, so um, DM me and I'll send it to you finally. <laughs> now if you can see, I put the rail over there and it looks so good, it just really makes the space a lot bigger. So now I need to do exactly the same over here, kind of move all of the bits and bobs I have here. I've also got my desk, which I want to be able to put up on the other side of the room at some point. So um, let's get lifting. <laughs> There's something about you And you know it too Apart from the fact that it's still a building site, this is looking so much better, so much clearer, makes the room feel absolutely massive. I'm going to be getting rid of all of those hangers because I'm just not going to need them, but I don't want to do it until I know exactly what I'm hanging everywhere because on the other side of the room here I actually have a box of coats which I'm not sure if I'm going to box away or whether we've got another bedroom which is what I'm calling our storeroom and it has massive cupboards in it and I'm just thinking that I might as well hang them in there so I'm going to leave those out I think I think this is the point where I'm going to have to show you guys the other half of the room are you ready I am so not ready but here we go Oh, it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> right, so I have the rail that I got rid of, but it's got the shoes on still. A rail of Ollie's clothes just here, but that can go into the room that we will sleep in once we are living here. And we then have the spindles for the stairs, which I painted up here just randomly. These are some boxes that I haven't quite moved away. I picked up this gorgeous desk, it's absolutely beautiful second hand on gum tree but it is just covered in rubbish birthday balloons from when it was my birthday kitchen stuff kitchen box stuff our shoe thing and then boxes which need to be sorted if we're going to live through this renovation we have to live 
through it carefully and organized and that's certainly not what it's like at the moment which has been fine because we've not been living here but now we need some structure and so as i said earlier i'm going to start in one place and i'm hopefully going to totally clear this room but in a very organized way putting away any stuff that we don't need into the spare storage room and anything that we do need it needs to be able to get to quite easily so i better get on because i think i have my work cut out <laughs> Your eyes, your scent, your touch is all I dream of Now I can live without you I hope you feel it too Cause we are meant to be We are meant to be oh. finished off until Ollie gets home this weekend. It is so much more organized. You can actually see the floor and walk in here like a normal person now, which is amazing. I think we need to sell this um, dining table, which is up against the wall. This is gonna be my desk, but I think I wanna put it over on that wall and these kitchen boxes, and that is just so heavy. I'm gonna get Ollie to lift that down the stairs. Shoes are organized. Not sure if they'll go there though, or maybe I'll move them over to the corner. I did have a little go through the boxes, but a lot of the stuff is Ollie's, so I need him for that. I am pretty tired now, but so happy because I'm feeling so much more organized. It's definitely not there, this room yet, um, but I think I'm going to have to do a little series on it so that you can see how it progresses. Feel much more organized. I'm so happy to have my summer clothes kind of on the two rails I've gone through and I kind of know what I'm missing. Really need to get some shorts. I do have some shorts, but not enough. Some skirts, definitely some more dresses because I always want dresses. I feel like t-shirts because this year is going to be quite a DIY yeah, so I'm going to have a little look at that too. Oh, and jumpsuits. So I'm going to be doing a few hauls coming up now that I have sorted myself out a little bit. So to start the summer kind of fashion spring content, I'll be doing some hauls which feature a lot of those pieces. And you guys will have to remind me the bits that I'm allowed to keep, which I actually need for my summer wardrobe. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. I know it's a little bit of a mess, but hopefully you guys understand what it's like to be living in this and I will see you guys in the next one.